What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Real, and today we are questioning the realisation is Quake 2 the remaster on its way. Now Quake 2 has pretty much been ported to every single system that we can pretty much think of today, or basically systems that can handle it, aka PlayStation 1, N64, technically Dreamcast, because you know, Barrow's port, although not completed, did technically port a version of Quake 2 over to the Dreamcast with no sound. But at QuakeCon 2021, we did see Bethesda basically announce Quake 1 The Remaster, which is out now for PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox, God knows whatever they want to call the Xbox nowadays. Yeah, to be fair, the remaster does look good and, you know, yeah, it does give it that all new polished look. But is that really what we want as gamers? Don't get me wrong, I will probably purchase it just to see how it plays. But for me, I love playing Quake for the way it originally looked. Now with some modifications, aka a solid frame rate, nice firm modernized controls, I think that is what people want with the 320x240 look, because that's how I remember it. Now Quake 2 and Quake 3 are both now released via the Game Pass, but obviously this is Xbox, or it's not not even Xbox, it's PC only, Quake 2, Quake 3, but they haven't been modified in any way, they've basically been just put on the Game Pass, which is great, because it means people who haven't played those titles can now play them, but there is a but. Does this mean Bethesda are testing the water for a Quake 2 remaster? They're kind of seeing how Quake 1's gonna go, how Quake 2 and Quake 3 are gonna go in regards to just keeping them how they are and see if that is the appetite for it. Now don't get me wrong, if you've got a high-end rig, you can go and obviously get the RTX patch for Quake 2. And it looks, as you can see, pretty damn stunning, but like I said, Personally, not how I'd want to do it, but I'm pretty sure the appetite will be out there for the remaster. Now, if you've played the 360 version, you already know that it plays very, very well and looks very, very good in that version. So now they've obviously already done the 360 version, why wouldn't they go and modernise it even further? But that also leads me on to the question, or the dilemma, are we going to see Quake 5? Now, the only reason I mention that it's because let's just take a look at how long it took for Doom 2016 to come out when you had Doom 3, uh, how many years ago before? You know, there was that massive gap. They're gonna go back to that IP, but how are they gonna do it? Now, obviously there is Quake Champions for the people who wanna do the online, which to be fair, is really pretty decent. Now, obviously I personally say go and play Quake 3 online, uh, as you can do with cross-platform, aka Dreamcast and PC. But, but I can't, you know, I still think Bethesda are testing the war, because just look at Doom Eternal. Obviously, you now had to get Wolfenstein. Let's talk Wolfenstein. I mean, for crying out loud, they've now brought out four different packs. You've got Wolfenstein, uh, you've got Wolfenstein New Order, you've got Wolfenstein Old Blood, you've got the second Wolfenstein, you've got uh, also, in fact it's five titles, you've got Cyberpilot for VR only, and then you've also got the other one that no one cares about. But, you know, you cannot deny Bethesda are going to go back to Quake, but how are they going to do it? And I can only assume they're going to do exactly what they did with Doom. They're not going to number it, they'll call it Quake. Don't know. That is what's going to happen, I'll be absolutely gobsmacked. Now I've got no solid proof of this, but you just have to look at the gaming market and the trends from these certain developers. And don't get me wrong, I'll be gobsmacked if it doesn't happen. Anyway, I've been out from Games Rip. Hope you like this nice little deep dive into Quake 2. And to be fair, the Quake series as a whole. Like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you all soon. You can now support the channel on patreon.com forward slash games rip as well as remember to like, comment and subscribe.